Are you ready for the next big thing? It may be moving in with you. The Financial Times reports that next week, Apple will announce a new way to connect you to what techies call the Internet of Things. Your iPhone would gain the power to control your home, lights, appliances, security system, and so on. CNET editor Dan Ackerman will be in San Francisco on Monday for Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference, but he's here with a preview. Dan, good morning. Good morning to you guys. What are we expecting Apple to tell us next week? You know, this is the Developers Conference. So it's usually very focused on software and concepts, and one of the concepts people have been talking about is Apple getting into what they call kind of the smart home or the Internet of Things. That's an area a lot of big companies like Google are very interested in, so you know Apple's got to be interested in it also. We've gotten so used to these conferences, hearing as the result of them, changes to our phones, changes to our computers. You're telling us the next big thing then is really things in our home, things we'll be able to control from our iPhone. I mean, that's an idea that's kind of been bubbling up for a long time. It never quite seems to arrive, probably because a really big company like Apple or Google hasn't really gotten behind it and given it a big push. But if Apple says, we're going to set up a standard for like smart home stuff you can control from your phone or your tablet, and all these other companies are sort of invited in to make stuff that works with it, that could be kind of the big push that they need. Google took, has already sort of taken steps in this area, haven't they? They bought something called Nest Labs for $3.2 billion. That is a real cult favorite, if a $3 billion company could be called a cult favorite. <laughs> Nest makes like a really cool, like almost a like remote control thermostat. It's an awesome little device. Uh, it's definitely a first step, and uh, it's Google getting into the hardware of smart homes. So Apple has got to be looking at that and saying, you know, we want to make sure we're up front with Google in this business too. It's interesting you should say that, because it, it seems so long as a consumer, Apple has resisted putting any of their software into someone else's hardware. So does that mean down the road, Apple's going to say, we'll make our own stuff and put our own technology in our own stuff, like a thermostat? I mean, that's a good question. I feel like Apple doesn't want to get into the hardware business of any of this stuff. That's sort of a big labor-intensive business. Uh, they'd rather have uh, companies that make refrigerators and stoves and, and home security alarms and washing machines make stuff that's sort of Apple-approved. And if you do that, maybe there's a chance you can get into that Apple store, which is like the most valuable retail space around, sure. and they really want everyone to kind of get that approved by Apple checkbox on them. If we, if we have this sort of home invasion, if you will, by all these devices, do you think this is something consumers want or are going to embrace? You know, it's something we thought about since the World's Fair, since the Jetsons. It's yeah. an intriguing concept. I'm not sure how much of it people actually want to integrate into their lives. It might be cool if your refrigerator can tell you, you know, when you're out of a certain product and how you can just go online and order more, but you want to not be able to cook dinner because your oven needs a firmware update. Even though we have some companies that are already doing things like that, where you can control from your iPhone, it would seem like this is pretty much untouched territory. So is the competition between these companies unbelievable? I mean, there have been traditional companies like Philips, like Samsung, who have made some of these things for years, but they don't really have the heft to get it in front of everybody. And how often do you upgrade your kitchen appliances, for example? It's kind of a long turnaround time. But once you get the big guys who you think of as technology companies first, like Google, like mm -hmm. Apple, then you may be able to say, okay, I'll try a little bit of it. And maybe next time I buy a new house or do a big upgrade, I'm in. So is, do you think this is the next frontier of technology, Dan? It's one of the potential next frontiers. It depends on whether people really want to spend the money to upgrade their homes and whether somebody, maybe a big guy like Apple, can get everything to work together. That's always the key, getting everybody on the same plan at the same time. I would be fascinated if someone doesn't want this technology because I think it's amazing. It's life-changing. Yeah, it certainly is. I mean, to change my thermostat in the car. I, I mean, people resist for a long time, though. <laughs> people didn't want to get computers or cell phones true, for a long time, but right. eventually even your mom has a smartphone, so that means everybody's she in. She texts poorly, but she has one. <laughs> She's got one. Dan Ackerman, thank you so thank much. You.